All right, Lee, before we actually talk about the match Saturday, obviously the big news was about you guys uh, breaking the franchise record yet again for attendance this season. Um, as you look throughout the course of the year, you guys had some up and downs, ups and downs on the pitch, but yet huge crowds come into City Stadium. What does that mean for you as a franchise to see so much, you know, excitement from the fans to still come out to City Stadium to see you guys play? Well, well first, we haven't broken the attendance well, close record to just yet, but these next two games, the way uh, pre-sale has gone, certainly Saturday's game is going to be huge, one of the biggest crowds of the season. So we're certainly on course to break the attendance record for the fourth season. Look, that makes a massive difference for us as players, as, as coaches, the atmosphere for anyone who's been a true fan over the 25 years or over the last 10 years. You've seen enormous difference um, in the stands, the atmosphere, and it's truly a unique soccer experience which we've always wanted to, to bring to Richmond and especially City Stadium. What, is, what have you seen has become, I guess, a huge difference or a huge reason why, other than the play on the field, as to why people are, are, are coming out more to see soccer? Well, no, it, the sport is going to continue to grow. Um, it's certainly the sport of the future that's here now. You've seen fantastic attendances this week with Atlanta 70,000 in Major League Soccer. Our own Cincinnati and USL hit 30,000. These are huge numbers uh, for a sport that was never going to make it in the country. So we know um, we're the next big thing, and we, uh, we continue to try and create not only unique um, energy on the field, but also you know off the field in the stands, and, and it's just it's just continues to thrive from from everything from from Premier League on TV, from from the internet and having access to to the top teams in the world, the top atmospheres in the world, and and people continue to see it, um, and it can only help us. Yeah, you touched, we touched on it when we did the story on the 25th anniversary, the fact that you have these Premier League teams actually coming here to City Stadium. I mean, that's got to help significantly as far as the improved turnout over the years. No, it, it creates enormous credibility. Nobody would have thought that we'd have played a Premier League team four years mm -hmm. running from, in my opinion, the greatest sports league in the world. Um, yeah, it, it creates enormous credibility. It creates like, wow, this can be a place to, to really push on. We can have that seven, 8,000 um, fans per game. That's absolutely the goal of this franchise to sell out City Stadium with that seven, 8,000 seats. We truly believe that we can do that. And again, as attendances increase, as the commercial side, the sponsorships increase, that's only going to help. What, what can be the reason for continuous or continually, continually selling out City Stadium? Is it more you know, improved play on the, on the pitch? Is it more commercial, trying to go out, is it a combination of both? What, what, what do you think? No, have, again, you're going to want to have a successful team. That's going to be a crucial component. Um, but as you see around the world, that's not the only component. For us, it's creating that community feel in the stands. You create your own atmosphere at times. It's just one big party. So we want to have people understand what that's all about. And then, of course, we've got a, with the 40-year lease for City Stadium, there is another massive opportunity mm -hmm. to create a wonderful fan experience with an absolutely new and improved City Stadium. We talked about, I guess a few matches ago, um, in regards to how you thought the guys had played, and um, I guess if, as far as pride is concerned. With that being said, you come into the home match against Rochester, do you still see the strong play regardless of the standings? No, I think over the last four or five games we've been um, you know, one of the top teams with regard to results. You know, we kind of blew it last last weekend. But again, if we'd have picked up a point or even a win last weekend, we'd have been, you know, probably the hottest team in the league. You know, too too little, too late, no question. But the performances have been solid. We know what we're lacking with regard to just the experience and you know the ability to perform in in high pressure situations. Mm -hmm. But overall, you know, we're moving in the right direction. And these next four games, the two at home, the two on the road. Uh, or another big part of being ready for 2018. You can